All right, we're going to go ahead and give this thing a brake adjust. I notice the pedal's a little low. A couple things you want to do when you do that, of course, is number one, check the mass cylinder, make sure it's not leaking somewhere. Look at your wheels, make sure they're not leaking. Maybe it's the first time you've done it on the car. So if that's the case, you want to know that the e-brake cables weren't adjusted first. Some guys actually go and adjust the e-brake cables and then tighten them up real tight because they think their brakes aren't working, their e-brake cables too high. And they, you should always adjust the brakes on the wheels first and then adjust the e-brake cables. The cables are located underneath here, so and you notice it's nicely tucked in. Because again, you shouldn't be going here. If you're adjusting these, uh, you know, normally you adjust them once. You put your e-brake cables in, you adjust your brakes, then you adjust your e-brake cables one time, and then as your as your as your lever gets higher and higher, okay, then it tells you that you need to adjust your brakes. So if your lever's up like up here, that means your brakes are probably way out of adjustment. And you need to start with the brake adjustment first and then adjust that e-brake cable. So again, what I was trying to get to is if your e-brake cable is misadjusted, if it's adjusted up way too tight already and you don't know that, um, then you might want to just start by loosening the cable. So you would turn these counterclockwise, the nuts that are on here. Again, I'm not going to dig mine out. But the two nuts, the nuts that are under, there's a double nuts on there. You should loosen those up really good. And make sure there's no tension on the brakes at all. Um, you wouldn't know that. You won't know that until you adjust the brakes. So, anyway, that's just a little thought there. If you're first time, if it's the first time you own the car, you've never adjusted the brakes, you don't know the history, you might want to loosen those up first and then adjust your brakes, then come back and adjust your parking brake cable and then never touch it again. You should never need to adjust your parking brake cable. That's a no-no. People do that one all the time. And the hubcaps and wheels need to come off. I take the hubcaps and the wheels off. You can do them with the wheels on, but you have to have the right tool for that. I don't have it. As long as I've had Volkswagens, I still don't have that right process, that tool. They're hard to find. So this is what a brake adjuster looks like. And what it is, is this, it has your shoe in this groove right here. And what you're trying to do is see when you turn this, this direction, right, this will lengthen that. So what you want to do is take your little mini flashlight, okay, and you want to reach in there with a screwdriver and twist this so that it goes you know, one of them is going to go this way and one of them is going to be like this way. So you're going to have to move your screwdriver and turn this thing around to lengthen this thing, right? Because this is up against a wheel cylinder and you want this part of it to get longer. So you turn it clockwise on when it's going this direction to do that with your screwdriver, okay? And it's making this part go longer. Same thing when it's this direction. You're going counter, you're going downward with it. You're still going the same direction, but you're moving it this way. So this way you're going to be doing it this way, and this way you're going to go this way. Just You need to see what it is you're trying to do. Sometimes it's a good idea if you've never done it before, take the wheel, the drum off, look and see what you're looking at, and then it makes it a little bit easier to figure out what you're doing. All right, so the next thing you want to do is get those wheels off, or you can even, sometimes you can reach in there and do it, but let's just take a look. So on a bug, the adjusters are opposite where the wheel cylinder is. So the easiest way to look at that is you look at your hose, see where your hose goes in on the inside, right? You look here where your hose goes, and you see the wheel cylinder is over on this side, so that means that the adjusters are on the opposite of that. So the adjusters are going to be over here. And in the back, same thing. You can look here. If you don't remember, you just go in, you look, you see, okay, the wheel cylinder's on this side. Adjusters are going to be down here on the bottom. 
So what you can do is you can look through this little hole here. I actually can adjust these ones with them on there. I just was looking at it. I used to always do them with them off. I'm going to be lazy this time. Let's see if I can do it with them on the car. It's a little harder to reach them in that hole. Um, but I'm going to try it and see if I'm successful at doing it. Well, let's find out. Again, it's much easier with that tool. I, I remember it being impossible for me to do years ago, but I think maybe I can do it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the top one first. So I'm lengthening this thing here. I can see it through the hole. Now you know what one looks like. It's a little easier to do. It is a little bit hard to get in here with the screwdriver when it's like this with the wheel on, but it's possible. Okay, so I'll, I run it down so the first adjuster is so that the wheel won't turn, okay? So it's pretty tight, not like so tight. And then I back it off. One turn. This is where the hard part is. That's why I usually use it. Okay, one, two. I feel at two, there is like no, the drum is not hitting the tire. So sometimes I'll go one click. Even so, let me do it again. I usually go three, so go all the way till it's solid, till it won't move. Back it off. I hope I get in there. One, let's try one. On this one, I'm going to go one click on both one, uh, both of them. So I do the top one. Then I do the bottom one the same. So this one I gotta go again. I have to go the opposite direction. So I'll tighten it up. So the wheel feels solid. I'm gonna back it off one click. You get a whole click. Okay, now I've noticed this one's tight. Still at one click. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two clicks on both. So I'm going to go one more. Wrong way. Got to go back to my one. And I go to two clicks. I notice it's free. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top one to the another click. So I need to go this direction one more click so they're both the same and there's no resistance to the wheel sometimes you'll have the drum hitting just a little bit and that's okay if you turn it around it just kind of scrapes just a little tiny bit that's usually all right that'll wear off pretty quickly um, you want your brakes pretty tight so then I do all four wheels the same way so the next one Again, I'm going to do the same thing here. You don't have to do them all two clicks, okay? You're going to do each wheel individually. This is the way that I do it. You can do it your way. I've got guys that tell me that I'm doing it wrong, and that's fine. I've been doing it this way for most of my life. That's the way I've learned at the VW shop. So the second wheel, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lengthen it. So the wheel stops. Can't move the wheel. Okay. And back it off one turn. One click. I didn't get a whole one. It's by feel. You got to know right when you get that. The screwdriver is slipping off. So one, two. I'm gonna go with two on this one too. Because like I said, sometimes I go have to go three, but I don't do more than three. So this one I'm gonna lengthen this one. I don't know why I used to do it all the time with the wheels off. 
Again, that's the way I used to do it all the time. So I used to take the wheels off. So let me start over again on this one because I forget where I was. The camera stopped. So tighten it up until the wheel stops. I'm going to go two clicks on this one. I like the wheel off because of that reason right there because I can't get the leverage on that thing. The normal tool is like bent and it's very narrow and I don't have one. I've always done this with a screwdriver. One. A little bit more on that. Okay, two. Got just a little bit of drag. You notice that there's a little bit of drag? That's okay. It's okay. Just a little bit of drag is fine. You know, this one, they're opposite. The wheel cylinder's up above. It's down below where it's at. So I'm going to lengthen this side. Until the wheel stops. And I've got the e-brake off. One. I'm gonna go for two, I think, on this one too. I didn't get a whole one. There. Two clicks. Barely, it's not, it's perfect. So this car is like a two-click car. Some of them I gotta go three. It's usually because the warps, the drums are pretty warped. I'm lengthening it. Check the wheel, doesn't stop. And I'm shortening it. One. It's just taking me a little while to get underneath it. I used to do it on the ground, so I think. Two clicks. So I don't feel any resistance on there. It stops just a little bit, but it might be from the other side. But that's fine. Just that little bit of resistance. If it's really when I just did my bus, I had to do three clicks on it. So this one's a two clicker. If you feel too much resistance, then you gotta make a judgment call. Especially if you take it for a test drive and your brakes start getting really hot, it tells you you did it too tight. Something you always got to test drive your car after you're done doing this. Okay, until my wheel doesn't stop. I do it to basically where the adjuster kind of stops too. Same time, I'm looking in there, I'm looking for grease, like a grease seal leak. You can inspect in these holes if you have them. Uh, for a grease seal leak, I don't think they're on the aftermarket drums. You can look at your wheels, the grease seal, see if they're leaking in there. You can see, like, look in there and see if your wheel centers are leaking. Those are a good time to check that stuff. I just did the brakes on this thing not too long ago, so I know they're real fine. Don't worry about it. So tighten her up, lengthen it, shorten it. One, two. A little bit of, a little bit too much resistance over here. So this wheel, I'm going to do a third click on both of them. One more there. One more click there. It looks like I did two, but I only did one. And I went the wrong way. 
I lengthened it. I mean, it, I can feel it. There we go. So, now they're all the same. So this one I had to do three. The other ones I had to do two. That's how I do it. I've been doing it that way for years. And you do it the way you want to look into it, but that's pretty much how it should be done as far as everything that I've learned on Volkswagens. Maybe I learned it all wrong. But uh, I don't know. If you did it the way I do it, you probably have the same luck I do, and it probably worked just fine. So let's check the brake pedal. All right, so that's where it ends up right there. It's not, it was down like down here. So I gained about two inches or so. It's kind of normal for it to have that much. Sometimes you can adjust them up a little bit tighter. And like I said, you can get this down to where there's less. You can have your, I've had them before where the pedal's right there. But uh, generally that's brand new drums. They're all out of, they're all surfaced evenly. I know this one has a little bit of warpage going on. And we do those usually at one click and they're like that. And you'll have a really tight brake system. And if you're like me, you get tired of doing this. Uh, eventually you go ahead and change to the disc brakes. Um, you know, the MP ones really aren't that bad uh, in the front, especially. Uh, I, I haven't had very many people have problems with them. Problem I've had with MP stuff is ma mainly like the master cylinders didn't last or something like that. You know, you know, some of the wheel cylinders don't last very long, you know, something like that. But uh, their, their disc brake systems, the problems people have had is usually in the rear. Um, and the problem that you have in the rear is usually that the, the uh, brake cable would hit somewhere or something like that. I don't know, the brake arm, lever, lever arm for the e-brake would hit something. And I don't know if they solved that problem. I think they did. But, um, you know, those Chinese brake kits work pretty good. Um, and if you wanted to get away from adjusting your brakes all the time, would be a good idea to do that. Um, you, you'll notice your pedal's always up with, um, with the other ones. Because most of your braking is done in the front. Even though a lot of the weight of the car is in the rear. The uh, front brakes do a lot of the work because your weight transfers to the front of the car. When you step on the brake, the weight transfers to the front, and most of your stopping power is done in the front of the front wheels. So just getting front disc brakes on your car um, on a VW really gives them a lot more stopping power. Um, this car doesn't go very fast, so it's you know it actually does 70 you know on the freeway, but you know it, 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 you don't want to be doing that. For very long or you know with anybody else around because it kind of you know kind of walks all over the lane at 70 so 75 somewhere in there 70 70 it's usually okay 75 it gets a little scary anything faster than that is like white knuckles so <laughs> which is kind of normal for these cars i used to drive i drove my one my car old years ago i went up to 105 in that thing I don't know how I would do it. I, I, today, I would just think I was completely nuts. I mean, I would just floor it and just stay on it, and it'd be just bouncing all over the place, and I'd just keep driving. Oh, well, not now. You know, I guess I get a little more timid as you get older. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Hopefully, that helps you get through your brakes adjustment. Uh, again, you should be looking at your, any for leaks anywhere. You should be looking at your master cylinder, making sure it's full. Um, you should, and, and again, you should, if you've never done the the if you've never checked it before, loosen up your your uh, e-brake first, adjust the brakes, and then adjust the brake cable for the e-brake. I've seen that so many times where I've taken the wheels off and I've seen the e-brake way over and it's been driving on the e-brake, and that wears your shoes out a lot faster. So anyway. Talk to you in the next one.